Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at the brand new freeform view in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've ever wanted to organize your clips and images and graphics in a storyboard kind of view freely wherever you want, well, you can finally do it. There's always been the icon view, which you could kind of sort of do sort of that, but this is so much better. Let's take a look. Here I've got two bins, two folders. I'll open one up. I want this to be a floating window, so I'll hold the control key down on Windows, the command key on Mac, and drag the name of this up because trying to do this in a small window doesn't make sense. So I'll drag this out, and if you've got a second monitor, you could do that. Drag it out. Now I've already saved something here. We'll reset this, but I just wanted to show you what's going on. First of all, down at the bottom, we've got our list view, icon view, and this new freeform view. And that's the view that I'm using here. And you'll notice that I get different sizes, big ones, small ones, I've got stacks, and I also have the ability to zoom all the way over from one side to the other. So this is a complete view that I have saved. You can get to this by right clicking, and I've saved my layouts in here. So right now I can go to the default layout and it's gonna put them over to there. I'll go back to restore my storyboard layout. This scroll window, scroll bar can be moved to zoom in. You can also hold the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac and use your scroll wheel, or you can use a trackpad. So I'm using two fingers while holding down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac. And if you let go of Alt or Option, now you can pan around that same window with the trackpad. Double clicking on this resets it. So you can align these to a guide. So there, a grid. So there is a, a grid that you can't see where they all line up. If I right click and choose an align to grid, then they now align to the grid. It doesn't reset their, their position. If I want to, I can reset the grid to any of these criteria. For instance, maybe video duration. Now they're lined up based on their duration. So if you really want to have a quick view of, of the uh, which clips are longer, this will do it. And if I right click, I can save this as a new layout. I could also save it over top of the uh, storyboard layout that I saved before, but I'm going to save this as a new layout. And I'll call this duration. Now I've got two saved layouts. Restore the default duration and rough story. Okay, so what can you do with these? Well, first of all, you can position these things wherever you want. And if you add the Alt key on Windows, the Option key on Mac, they'll snap together. Little nice bit of housekeeping. It is a little easier if I zoom in. So if I reset this, this is really the, the default zoom that you're looking at. You can also stack them up. And when you stack them up, if you mouse over one of these, it will jump to the front. And Hover Scrub is also working. You can see that little blue line. So I could set in and out points while I'm viewing this. If you wanted to put one of these in the front, if you hold Control on Windows, Command on Mac, and use the scroll wheel, I've now put that one at the front. I put that one at the front, that one, or that one, or that one. So it stays that way. So I'm going to go back to putting all of these at the back, each one of these. I'm still holding the Control key, and I was just twirling the um, scroll wheel as I went over the edge of each one of these. So, and each one of these can be positioned where you want, so I can drag this wherever I want. When you right click on a clip, you can set the size. There's the clip size, extra large, large, medium, and small. So if I turn that to small, that's the size of how small they are. So that's a small and that's as big as they get. And you can use this to help, let me go back and put that back to extra large. So if we zoom out on here, 
Maybe you're using this to highlight the hero shots, the most important shots. So here's the intro stuff going on here, and then a couple of hero shots, and then we're back to some other clips. And then if you're not sure of a clip, you can throw it way down here. You can align a selection to a grid. So if I've got these placed like that, I can select, right click, and align to grid. They will align to the grid, but they're not really aligning in order. I can reset them to the grid. So maybe here I want to go with the file name. So now they're aligned in that order in the file name. If I don't have anything selected, and then right click and reset, and let's choose file name, now all of them go. This is great because I could have some organized by name, some by duration, some by, by a, a comment note or description in, within this view. Now this is not just for the freeform view. Saving of views is the same for icon view or the thumbnail view or the list view. I can now click on the flyout menu and choose to save this as a new preset. So let's save as a new preset and call this list. So now we've got list, freeform, my Iceland story, boom, just like that. The last thing you can do, you'll notice if we go back to our default zoom, you see that our, our badges are showing up and the label color is showing up. If we go to the flyout menu and choose freeform view options, you've got several options in here. If I turn off the badges and the label color, click OK, you can see it's a little bit cleaner. I, I'm just looking at the name and I'm looking at the clip. Let's go back to freeform view options. If you wanted, you could add any of these. So there's name. And maybe over here, if the file name is different, you could show that. Whether you've rated something as, as good or not, what's the media type. So there's the new freeform view and the new view settings that you can save for all of the uh, settings for icon list and for freeform view. Reuse those and they're very, very good, very, very powerful, especially if you've got multiple displays and you can have that, that complete look of something uh, over on the left hand side and you could either select and drag and drop these right in the timeline you want, double click, load them in the source monitor. Very powerful tool great visual way to represent the story you're trying to tell. Speaking of story, I tried to, when this was being beta tested, they asked the beta testers what to name this. I, I thought it should be called Story View. I didn't get it. Uh, it's freeform view. I guess that's okay. I still like Story View. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that through PayPal, like our wonderful, amazing PayPal supporters. Thank you so much. You know who you are. There's a link in the description and the front of the channel. Thank you very much for joining us here on Video Revealed. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you informed of all the new updates in Adobe Premiere.